What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Emmy. And I'm a makeup artist if you don't already know who I am and I also have alopecia so I'm gonna be doing some new makeup videos on my channel this is my new makeup setup as you can see no longer a plain makeup background just the full studio so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video so today I'm finally doing a sit-down video on my story kind of like my alopecia story my come up my how I became a makeup artist, just like kind of like a little brief into my life story while I do my makeup because I feel like that's pretty on brand for me <laughs> is to do my makeup while talking about a story time or whatever. So let's see how we do and let's get started. So I'm going to start out with brows. I always prime with like a concealer before I put on my eyebrows because it makes them stay a lot longer and they don't smudge. So honestly, I've been using that trick since I literally was in high school and from when I like started putting on my eyebrows. Like sometimes I'll do like an eyeshadow primer instead of concealer, but honestly like I always go for the concealer. So I've had alopecia since I was like one years old, so I've never had hair. I've had it basically my entire life. I've only known not having hair. So over the years I've learned some like tricks and some tips that I'm going to give you guys about like how to do your makeup when you don't have hair, like how to do your makeup when you don't have eyebrows, eyelashes, all of that. Also it's easier for me to do a voiceover than to like talk and do my makeup because I am not a good multitasker when it comes to doing my makeup and talking. So I'm going to switch over to the voiceover in a second, do my makeup and tell you guys everything I'm doing. Okay so I always start out with brows of course so I'm going to go ahead and draw on my brows and I'm going to tell you a couple things about my eyebrows that you wouldn't normally know if you don't really have alopecia or at least my type of alopecia because all types of alopecia are completely different. I have alopecia universalis, so I actually don't grow any hair. So I'm drawing my eyebrows on literally from scratch. So you wouldn't think about this, but I have to place them right. And yes, I have eyebrow bones, but it's so hard to get them perfect every time that I'm sometimes putting them a little too high or a little too low, or the arch is a little bit too close to the inner corner of my eye or not far out enough. It is honestly a struggle to do so, but I do my eyebrows every day, so I'm so used to it. But sometimes I will erase the whole brow and start new. My brows are constantly changing. And if I could show you what they looked like in like 2020 versus now, you would be like, wow. Okay, so besides from the brows, let's get into my actual story. My alopecia journey has been up and down. And I've had it literally my entire life. Had alopecia since I was like one years old and I have struggled many different ways and I know that having alopecia can be such a struggle for people and I try to help people feel confident in themselves and love themselves for who they are. I absolutely love having alopecia but it took me a while to get here. And before I jump right into the story I just want to talk about anxiety for a moment and if you're like me Someone who's battled with anxiety for years, you know how tough it can be to have anxiety. I literally pay so close attention to my mental health. And I've seen doctors, I've been prescribed medication, but I've leaned towards the holistic methods of like helping my anxiety. And that's why I'm a strong believer of therapy. Especially if you're feeling anxious or depressed, therapy should be a normal part of people's lives and it definitely should be a little bit more normalized than it is. So today I want to clear up a little bit of the misconceptions about therapy with the help of our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's approach has been a game changer for over 4 million people. It's simple. You go to their website using my link at betterhelp.com and you answer some questions and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist who specializes in what you're dealing with. And in most cases, within 48 hours. I want to let you know that therapy isn't just talking. It's a journey of how to understand yourself, building coping skills, and creating a life that you actually love. And with BetterHelp, they offer flexibility to chat from your phone, computer, calls, video, messaging, whatever you're most comfortable with. And it's the simplest way to get started with therapy. So if this sounds good to you and you're ready to take a step towards a healthier, happier life, visit betterhelp.com using my link and you can get 10% off your first month. It's also in the description. So trust me, this could be the next step to change your life. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys some like really funny stories about what people have said to me kind of in public that you wouldn't really realize unless you were A, with me or B, 
had alopecia and you would be so surprised that people actually say these things but like they do like people have no filter and they will literally come up to you and say what is on their mind. I told a story that was very similar to this one that I'm about to tell you. So it's not the same story, it's a different story, but they're so similar because this happens so often. So me and my mom, we were at IHOP, and I don't even know how old I was. I might have been like eight years old, but we were at IHOP, and we were just having breakfast, and this lady comes out of nowhere, and she has this like card with her. It's like this like cutout card, and she hands it to me and my mom, and she just stands there for a second and I like look at the card my mom obviously takes the card and she reads it first and I didn't know but it was a prayer card and she sits at the end of our table with her head down like bowing and she's like speaking to herself and as an eight-year-old I'm like oh my god mom what is happening what she was doing was she was praying for me because she definitely thought that I had cancer but like I we didn't know what to say because she was just bowing her head in front of our breakfast table and I was like what is going on and I was like eight years old so I'm like so confused and we obviously don't want to be like rude or anything so like she finishes up and then she says like amen and then she leaves like she doesn't say anything else and it was just the most odd, awkward experience. And we just went back to eating our breakfast. And then at the end, the waitress comes over and is like, by the way, your meal has been paid for. And we were like, oh my gosh. And we were like, okay, thank you. Do you know by who? And she was like, I think it was the lady. And I was like, oh, okay. Like we already knew that it was her, but we didn't have a chance to tell her that I didn't have cancer. And it's just so awkward. And I appreciate her like paying for our breakfast, but oh my gosh, that just makes me so uncomfortable. I always try to tell people that I have alopecia and that I don't have cancer. It just gets Oh, it just gets so impossible when somebody pays for your meal and they just dip without saying anything. So that has happened multiple times, but I'm going to tell you something that literally happened two nights ago at the bar. So I was with my two friends and we went out to a bar in LA and when we get there, there's like so many people there. Like you couldn't even walk in this bar. There were so many people there and we ended up getting drinks and then finding a table. I swear to you, we were there for like 10 minutes and this guy comes up to our table mind you he's in a suit I don't know why he was in a suit but he was in a suit he comes up to our table and I'm like oh my god is this like the manager or something like what, what is he doing he comes up to our table and he looks at me and he goes I, I just I just have to ask I I hope you don't mind is that a swim cap or or is is that a is that a bald cap? I just I just have to ask. It's just so so smooth and like really shiny. Like I saw it from across the room. I I just had to come over here and ask. And he's literally going on and on about how my dome is shiny. And like it got really uncomfortable for a second and my two friends are like looking at me and I'm just like let me let it's it's okay. Happens a lot. And I look at him and I'm like no, I have alopecia. And he literally like cuts me off and is like, I don't know what that is. And I like try to explain for a second and he wasn't really getting it. And then he just like walked away and it was just so weird. And that is literally the first time I've had someone come up to me in the middle of a bar, basically yelling. His voice is so loud and asking me, if I was wearing a bald cap because my head was so shiny. I'm like, my guy. A good thing it was me because honestly, if I was somebody else and somebody who had just gotten alopecia or maybe isn't as comfortable with it or maybe is sick and maybe like does have an illness like cancer or whatever it might be, you should not be going up to someone and saying something like that. But I was like, oh my gosh, one of my friends is very like experienced and has heard people say stuff like that to me. And then the other friend, this is literally like one of our second nights hanging out at like a bar. So like, I know she's never heard people like say comments like that. So I knew she was like, oh my God. And I was like, girl, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm like actually so used to it at this point. <laughs> I honestly was just kind of lost at his demeanor too, because he was like talking to me and kind of like motioning with his hands, like that he was going to like grab my head or something. And I was like, please, please don't, please don't even ask. Please just don't do that. So I'm grateful that he didn't do that. Okay, so we're out of time. So in my next YouTube video, I will actually tell you guys how I have lived with alopecia for about 22 years of my life. So stay tuned for that. So this is the finished makeup look. I'm obsessed with doing like pink makeup looks. So this was my pink inspired makeup look. So if you guys enjoyed the makeup get ready with me story time kind of styled video, if you guys like these type of videos, comment below. 
Tell me what you want to see, tell me if you liked it, what kind of makeup videos do you want to see from me on YouTube because I will be doing YouTube videos all the time in 2024. So.